Okay, you guys, I have had a lot of people requesting um, just a simple DIY tutorial on how to use Canva. And so I thought I would take you guys really quickly through um, what I do with Canva and how to use it. There is a pro version for this. Uh, I do not have it. I have found that I'm able to do pretty much everything I need or want to do just by using the free version. You can obviously upgrade if you want to, but um, that's completely up to you. So um, when you open up, it's just canva.com. And when you open up, you'll create an account uh, to start with. And so that way you can access everything from a desktop or from your phone. There are a few things that don't go back and forth between the two as far as some of the designs go, but for the most part, everything is accessible on both devices, which I love. So I can create something on my phone while I'm out and about. And then when I get home, I can actually download it on my computer and um, get it set up. That's especially helpful when I'm working with my YouTube channel because uh, the YouTube art, I like to create a thumbnail. You'll see on my YouTube channel, everything looks uh, you know, cohesive. I like everything to just kind of have that high quality and it gives you a higher rating on YouTube whenever you have those uh, thumbnails that are high quality. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that first and then I'll show you some other tips and tricks that you can do with Canva. It is a really cool uh, tool. They have lots of templates that you can use. So they have social media, events, marketing, documents, prints. And if you have like the uh, paid version, you can actually create a landing page uh, similar to uh, what I showed you guys with uh, Google Sites. But in my mind, it's just as easy to use Google Sites and it's free. So I'm all about <laughs> cutting corners and saving money. So um, that is why I have not used this particular thing, but um, it saves all of your designs in here. And as you can see, I've got like 97% of my storage used up, but that's mostly because I upload pictures and I just need to go through and delete those. But so whenever you're setting up a YouTube uh, thumbnail, there's actually a template for that. And you can go here under templates and you will see all of the different um, social media. You've got Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of those types of things on here. And I normally access it honestly from my um, phone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually click on templates so that I can go into it. And I'm gonna search YouTube. And here you can see channel art, display ads, icons, and here's YouTube thumbnails. And the great thing about these templates is they are preset to the size that you need for your thumbnail. So there's not going to be any crazy adjusting. And so you can go through and you can pick any of these templates and edit them however you would like, or you can actually create a blank one and do it all from scratch. If you, if you're, you know, super creative and you just want to do it that way, you can. Some things I create from scratch, some things I do not. It just kind of depends on um, you know, what I'm working with. So, so that is where all the templates are at. So you can actually select, so let's say you're doing a YouTube channel on, um, working out. So I'm going to use this template and it will open it up in a new tab for us. As usual, my sweet dinosaur of a computer. Okay. So then what you can do is you can change colors. So like, say you like this design, but you're like, eh, I'm not really in love with this blue color. So you can click on it, you can click on the color, and then you can go in and you can change. And it will actually, I love this feature, but it will actually pull all the colors that are in the photo that you're using uh, and give you a color palette to work with, which I think is kind of cool. So here's a little bit softer blue. If you still like the blue, it's kind of a blue gray, but it gives you that softer color. And then again with this one, like I kind of like this color a little bit better. And so you can just play around with it however you want. With the font, you can choose from lots of different fonts. Now there are some that are paid. They have a little crown beside them, they're paid. But there are so many different fonts available that you don't have to pay for um, that you can use. And I've always been able to find what I need in there. You can change the font color here. So you can change anything and you can change the picture too. So for instance, let's say I wanted to upload um, a picture of myself for this. If I was doing a fitness channel, which I don't have 
don't know if I have any fitness. Okay, so here's a fitness picture of me. Not great, but I'll use it as an example. So I'm going to just click this and I'm going to drag it over here. And this is pretty cool because what I'm going to do, as you can see, it's on top right now. But what I can do then, once I have the uh, picture where I want it, I can hit position and I can send it backwards. And so now it is behind this, behind this, and it's me. And so it's really, it is really that simple. Um, and then once you have it exactly how you want it, then you can hit this download button and download it as a PNG, which is what I download almost everything as, and hit download. And it's going to save it directly to my computer. Um, obviously, they're giving you all of their upgraded options that they want you to try. Um, <clears throat> and I'm sure they're great. I just have not done that. So, But that is how, how you do it. And so then when it comes to um, your YouTube channel, when you go to your actual channel, I'm going to click over here on my picture just so you guys can see. Um, this is assuming that you're setting up a channel. You're going to go to your clicked it too many times. You're going to go to your channel um, and then what you're, I'll just go ahead and go there so you guys can see how it works. Um, once you get there, then you have the option of just viewing your channel like a normal person. And then you can also make some edits and stuff in here. So if you want to edit your thumbnails, you can see, you know, I've edited all my thumbnails. I also have my um, banner up here across the top. All my stats and everything are here, but if you go to YouTube Studio, which there's not a lot of stats here right now because this is a brand new channel, and so um, when you're starting from scratch, you have to build your audience and be consistent, and um, this is where I put in my plug to make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, make sure to share, because that's how um, you know it moves you up in the algorithms, and um, yeah. So anyway, so I go in here, and if I want to edit the thumbnail on my video. So I upload most of my videos from my phone, but then what I do, because my phone camera is the best camera I have, honestly, it has higher quality than anything else that I have in my devices. So once I have that um, video uploaded, then I can actually, even if it's still in process, I can click this little pencil right here. And this is where I can go in and I can edit that thumbnail. And so if you could scroll down just a little bit, then normally there's a blank screen here and it'll be a plus sign and it'll say add your own th thumbnail and you can upload it. Or for instance, if you've got one and you're like, ooh, I don't like it, then you can click those three dots right there and it's going to give you the option to change it um, or you can re-download the picture if you need it for some reason. But that keeps you from having some, you know, crazy expression, which Inevitably, I always have a crazy expression on my face. I'm very expressive in general. <laughs> but once you've made any changes to your thumbnail, then you're just going to hit that save button. It'll be blue and let you know that you need to make uh, save, save the changes and you're all set. So I'm not going to go into the analytics and stuff today on the YouTube channel. I'm just talking Canva today. So I'm going to show you some other things that uh, you can do. So first of all, all these pictures that I have uploaded, simply upload an image. That's all there is to it. Um, you can also upload videos. So for instance, um, you know, I have a lot of my YouTube videos, a lot of my Facebook lives, those types of things on here. And you can actually upload a video to one of your uh, images. And I do that whenever I'm working with IGTV. So let me go back to home here. And uh, let's see if I can exit out of this. Go back home. It may take me... I have a very bad cold, if you can't tell. That's why I'm doing this instead of doing my podcast, because I like my podcast to be full of energy. And quite honestly, I don't have much energy right now. Um, so, okay. Uh, what was I going to show you guys? Let's see. It's going to show you. Um, so like here's some, you know, Instagram post type things. Oh, IGTV. That's what I was going to show you. Okay. Let's go back in here. So what I have done with IGTV and I, it took some experimenting <laughs> to get it there, but this is what I do. So 
this is actually an Instagram story template. So I started with the blank one and I found that this was the best way to get the right resolution for IGTV to where when I posted it to my wall, my feed on Instagram, that I wasn't all like squishied up because when I first started doing it, like everything was out of proportion. So you want to record your video horizontally um, if you're going to put a preview in your newsfeed. That's important to know. You want it to be horizontal. And so then what I did here is I, I literally, I did have to play around with it a little bit, but you can see I centered it um, on here. And then I put social media marketing here, how to grow your business using social media. And then I put my little at Wendy Joe Davis down here. I should probably put hashtag the crazy life because that's kind of what everybody knows me as. And then again, I just download it, but it actually downloads the video as part of this slide. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take you guys over to Instagram and show you what this looks like on my Instagram feed and why it um, is so helpful to have it because, and I, I may be able to go further, uh, further back and be able to see um, what's happening like way back. So let's see. So I'm very much about aesthetics with my Instagram, but um, let's go back to that IGTV. Okay, so here's one. This isn't the one that I was just showing you guys though. I don't know what happened. To... Oh, there it is. Okay, so you can see whenever it shows up on my Instagram feed, it fits perfectly in to the, the square, right? And so then what happens is if people start to play it, then it's going to play here. Hello, hello. And Welcome back. It, it will I'm give Wendy the option to go ahead and view it on IGTV. I don't know if it does that on the desktop or not, honestly, because I always view it on my phone. But you can see that's how I upload. And I keep a color scheme. I keep the same blue in a lot of my things. I use the same filter on all of my pictures, which I use Tezza for my filter, T-E-Z-Z-A. And that's something I'd have to show you from my phone. I did buy the upgraded version of that, honestly, because um, I wanted the extra features and it was like 30 bucks, I think for the whole year. So, uh, but that's, you know, I keep my, keep things very cohesive as far, as far as the colors and the style of what I do on here. But it's nice because I think I can go in here and show you when I was doing IGTVs before uh, I started doing this. So before I started doing all of this, I was doing this. Oh, here's a good example. Look how squashed my face is. Squashed, squashed, squashed. And so um, I had to learn how that process, and you can see like it was up and down like this, and that is what was messing it up. I had to record it, um, sideways. And so like, this is what showed up in my feed. This is what showed up in my feed. And it was just, ugh, I didn't like it. So, um, so that's the way that's a little trick you can do for IGTV with your, um, videos so that you can do that. There's all kinds of options on here. You can add photos that they have. So like they have all kinds of different pictures you can search. And again, a lot of them are free. They're not, if they're not free, then there'll be, it'll say free. And it'll, if not, it'll have that little gold crown again. Uh, but they have tons of options. And honestly, like if you don't see something on here that you like, you can always Google uh, a picture and find an image, like a free image on Google and then upload it onto here. So um, these are elements. So like if you're creating a blank, um, slide, then you can add any of these little elements in. So like if I want to add this little flower, I just click it and add it and I can drag it. I can change the size of it. I can even change the colors in it. I mean, there's so many options. There's so much that you can do on here. And again, it's all free. So, you know, I just believe that if, if it can be done for free, then do it for free because as entrepreneurs, we are trying to save every penny we can and invest, you know, invest as, as little as possible financially as we try to grow our businesses. Obviously, the more you earn and the more that you're able to do, then you can start spending a little bit more. But, you know, in my mind, it's like, why, why? Like, there's really no reason. But, um, so those are just some of the things that you can do with it. The only thing I have found with this that does not work well is the Facebook covers. 
And um, I don't really know why, but whenever you create, let me go to social media, see if it'll pull it up. Uh, let's go over here. Animated. There is animated social media as well, which that was that animated button that um, you could see right here. So if I want to animate it, um, so let me show you really quick. Like, and with that, you'd have to delete that other picture that was behind there, but um, it's going to tumble it all together, which is kind of cool. So you can animate things and you can choose how long the animation takes. So if I want it to take a little longer, then I can do that. Whoops. And try it again so that you can see it. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of, those are some of the other features. But when it comes to Facebook uh, covers, I want to show you guys what I have done because I found that the way that they're set up, they don't fit properly. So this is a Facebook cover page. So this was their template for a Facebook cover. And so what I did is I created it and then I went back in and I actually shrunk this down and put it onto a different sized media. So, and that way, whenever people open it up, it actually shows the picture because otherwise it cuts out so much of it whenever you are actually on Facebook. So I, and I can actually take you guys over to show you. So this was my finished product, product. <laughs> I can't talk today. So. I used YouTube channel art size, which is 2560 by 1440. And so I used a blank YouTube uh, sheet and then I brought, I uploaded the picture that I created for my midlife moms group and I drug it over and stretched it across. And I'll show you why I do that. Uh, let me go here, go to groups. Let's see if I can get this to function properly again. Okay, so let me go over to my Midlife Moms group. Here it is. We were doing some business training this morning. So, okay, so this is that template that I just showed you. So a YouTube background and then that other picture added into the center of it and you see like if i hadn't done that then this would all be cut off like this would be cut off at the bottom it would cut off half of these girls it would you know would cut off all of it and that is why i create the two different ones so the first thing i did was create this one i'll show you the size on it because it's just a facebook template is what it is a facebook co facebook cover template and it should fit right but it doesn't <laughs> and so the size on the facebook um, template is 1656 by 630 and so i um i do that and then um, once i have it i download it and then sorry i sneezed i'm trying to <laughs> i'm telling you what whatever it is i've got going on has been rough um so then i just upload it <coughs> Bless me, upload it here. So, um, and then once I've got this set how I want it, then I can download it here. And then on my Midlife Moms Facebook page, I hit edit and it allows me to add a new picture. And that's how that works. So um, those are some of the most common things that people ask. I mean, the Instagram, I always just use a square. Um, again, I started with a blank Instagram post. For, and I use, I honestly, I use the Instagram for both my Instagram and Facebook posts because I typically post the same thing on both mediums and they have all kinds of fun, different templates that you can use. And so, you know, some of them will have some watermarked images and stuff that you can't actually download, but you can change any of those out like I showed you earlier. Or again, you can start blank and um, go from there. So that is kind of a overview of how to use Canva. And um, again, you can, there's a whole lot more um, options in here that you can use, but I really just wanted to show you guys some basics of what I do. And especially for YouTube, um, for your channel, uh, your thumbnails, and then also for um, just your different uh, 
posts and those types of things. So hopefully this is super helpful for you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to hit that like subscribe button uh, and share with your friends if you find this helpful. I appreciate it. You guys have a great day.